I did send an email to Seth because he asked for something on the agenda. So he's here. What soon. time is it? It's 8 to 15. And what, what's the date? The 16th. No response. All right. All right, so we'll call the meeting to order. No. Thanks, everybody. Um, we do actually have, uh, we uh, have not yet approved December or January's minutes, um, which I have here if anybody has not seen them. Um, but we should make a motion to approve the minutes. It's more of the same. So moved. Dang it. Second. All in favor? Second. All in favor? All right. They're I'm really to bungled to together in there. Uh, sure Max, thank you again for doing the minutes. We yes, really um, appreciate you it. You were there in January. Uh, John, uh, Bob, you were here. Yeah. Um, um, that takes us to uh, Chairman's report. Uh, January's meeting did not have a quorum, I think, if I read that right. Uh, wait a minute. Let's see. No, Jan, Ted, Seth, George, Bob. No, we had a good for group. De for December, right? Oh, January. Yeah, that January. Was, oh my In God, January, right. Bob wasn't at the beginning of the meeting. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because December's and the beginning. I'm partly to blame for that, for being sick or being traveling or whatever. Oh, that was me. I forgot. I ran that meeting. Yeah, yeah that was an awful meeting. Which I, that was a good meeting, I agree with you. <laughs> so, um, and I'm going to add a third we were all item. over the place. Um, okay, so uh, the chairman's report. Um, I want to, uh, like I do every month, I want to make sure that we keep some kind of focus on our pamphlet. Um, so have you gotten any feedback from any of the members in the last couple of months? Not yet. Um, so have both minutes been approved? Yes. Yes. Okay. Did, did Freeman talk to you at all about his ideas on that brochure? I know you sent him a copy of it. I've heard nothing. Okay, so maybe uh, we could ask you to to remind to do that again. To remind Freeman. Yeah, just yeah. do a touch. Um, and then, I guess we got to wait for that, right? Is that kind of where we're at? Wait for some. The, 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 the committee. I Was anybody going to reach out to Marsha, or did you already, Max? I have not. Okay, she was on the list on the minutes. Yep. To reach out to. Her. Maybe just send her a copy and ask her if she had any. Ask her, com ask her any editorial. Well, any she's feedback. graphic designer, so she might have some. That would be good. Yeah, she's doing our, our map and guide for the WBA. She's done it for. She volunteers a lot. Oh, yeah. So. Well, we're paying her for the map and guide. That's a big yeah. job. <laughs> but she probably won't send you a bill of your design. No, she probably won't. Sure. If you just asked her if she ask would. Ask her first. Does she, she willing? <clears throat> does she do web design? Yeah, she yeah. does, actually. She's really good. She's basic. She's, what do you have to say? I'd say her design is very clean all the time. It's very, you know, uh, visually clean, and she doesn't add a lot of fancy schmancy. I found her helpful because she starts the discussion. She sets kind of a tone, and then you. Yeah. Are you looking for a website, John? What's that? Are you looking for a website? We might be, right? <laughs> well, it makes sense. The horses and everything. Oh yeah, I know. I right now I'm using a, a Facebook to do a lot of my marketing, and that's changing. They just changed the whole. Oh, Facebook they did. It's awful. And it's yeah. confusing, and I have to redirect my whole strategy onto a website. Talk yeah. to Marsha. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the story on there. Eight three two four one three three. Eight three two. Sorry, I'm giving the phone number to everybody in town. And Max, we, maybe um, also resend. Or I can do this. Either one of us can do this. But resend where we're at now with the brochure <coughs> back out to the, the members of the committee, asking for feedback again. So asking resend the current brochure. Yeah. Just. Is that? Did we already see the current one that where you made changes? Or? We got very. I didn't. I hardly saw any written hmm. feedback to the committee. I, I know Seth had some comments mm -hmm. ad hoc, kind of in one of our meetings. But well, I was. Well, I was actually hoping Seth would be here because the copy he gave me with. His edits, I didn't see any changes. Okay. So, I was a bit so so let's 
Any, obviously, any changes like that should be communicated back through the committee so we could all see what right. yeah. what changes are right. being recommended. Exactly. And we could, it should be a reply it, all. It can't well, just be make these changes and you make No. Uh, why don't you put a cutoff date? Yeah. Otherwise, this will go on for months. That's true. Let's just say yeah. by X. Uh, editorial or comments will be received with right, and, printing. And if you're going to send it out again, after. Max, you can yeah. do that. Say, we have this deadline date and we need to hear back. Please reply all so that the committee can comment. Why don't we make, um, <coughs> why don't we give folks, uh, when do you think you could distribute it, Max? When are we meeting after this, 10 o'clock? So why don't we, so, so today's the depends Depends if this meeting February ends at 9.30 or not. One, two, yeah. Why don't we give folks uh, three weeks, so March the 9th, Friday, March? The week before our next meeting. The week before our next meeting, yeah. And then I can make it. It's and you could just say that the committee will finalize the design on, on March. Our at our next meeting. At our next meeting. Yeah. meeting. Yeah. Please, have, please have comments back yeah. by yeah. March 9th. Yeah. So yeah. Max can incorporate yeah. Right, them. Yeah. exactly. And that's so you know. It's yep. Got it? All right, good. Thank you. Good advice. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, um, well, uh, the Comprehen Comprehensive Economic Development Strategy, I, I'm going to put that up in my section so we sure. get to talk about it. Um, so, uh, well, thank you for doing this. Well, Max hey, re revised the, uh, uh, the, the uh, strategies oh, that we handed out, the drafts, and put them in a format that we're oh, going to use, sorry, I didn't. we would use the, the um, SEDS uh, application. The we got uh, these are corridor okay. documents you sent out to us the other day for these to say. They, can, um, they should be the same. They are. Should okay. be the same. We just met one, weren't sure if people would yep. print them out. So, okay. so um, it's kind of an abbreviated form, um, and it's done purposely. The, the process is whatever you submit, there'll be a verbal presentation that we'll, we'll need. Um, Max will present from the uh, town side, but it would be good if we had some uh, representation from this committee. When's the second meeting? We haven't scheduled it yet. It will be probably at the end of March, okay. somewhere at the end of March. <laughs> on that. It's, it'll probably be toward the end of the day. Um, it might take about an hour and a half, two hours, because um, we're going to have everybody in the same room, so everybody hears each other's yeah. presentation. So it and it's going to be in Damascus? We're, we don't know yet. Okay. We have to pick a venue that's large enough to yeah, right. accommodate everyone. And everybody will have so much time to make their yeah. It's it's going to be pitch, brief. It, yeah, yeah. It's it's really just a kind of an explanation to the SEDS committee, and and it gives an opportunity from everyone else in the region to hear what you're doing and mm -hmm. and, and to interface with other people. Sometimes people have questions from other towns yeah. about the projects just to because it might match up with something, something they're, that they're, they're thinking yeah. about. That's the whole purpose of yeah. that interaction. <coughs> yeah. And. Um, do I understand we're not limited to one project? Oh, no, you can put as many as you want in on that. And we're, we're putting them in, bait, you know, um, some of these would be in planning stage, some are shovel ready, so they're, they're all different, mm -hmm. you know, stages of, you know, and there's, no, there's nothing to commit you to that. You may no. say next year, boy, this isn't going anywhere, we are going to drop it and whatever, so that's perfectly fine. What's nice is to get them on the record. If yeah. there's something that the town really wants to, the, the the key is is that it can't be eligible for EDA funding unless it's in the SEDS, right. and it also gives us an opportunity to start looking for um, matching funds. Right. So on that, and so, and it might connect with something that somebody else right. is doing in another town. So, so these are all. Uh, um, so why don't we uh, talk about, should we talk about each of these a little sure, bit? Sure, sure. Okay, so, yeah. so let's start with, um, let's just go in the sequence that I have in here. So the first one um, I have is the business park sewer expansion. So basically take it, where's this, where does the sewer end now and where would we? Exp it ends right at the, basically right at the intersection here, 32 and 1. Okay. And it would have to, you have a couple of routes it could go. It can go up 32, it can go up Depot Street can go inland some manner, shape, or form. So that would have to be, that, that would be part of the uh, the exploration to see what's the most cost-effective way of getting the it. The most cost-effective, because we've kind of looked at this, mm -hmm. is along the railroad right away, yeah. down depot. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
And so the argument would be that if we could bring uh, town, is there town water there now? They have, they have ample water. They have ample water. They have, they have a well. Have a well. They have a that well, well okay. used to supply the town for a while. Mm -hmm. So if we, the, the argument would be if we could expand the uh, sewer service to the business park, that that would be attractive to companies to. Well, compete. here's the slippery slope with that. Um, you're expanding it to the business park. How many residential homes are you actually going to pick up? And that's where John Fancy and I, when we were having this discussion um, with George, um, got into, you're not going to pick up that many residential homes. There aren't that many along there. No. There's not. No. So. Um, this is assuming it goes along a railroad. A railroad. Yeah. yeah. You go up 32, it's a little bit different. Um, still not that many on 32. But we're, well, you would get, you would get. Some. You would get that little cluster of homes. Right around the, yeah. Um, Oh my gosh, the sec that section of town's name just went out of my head. Where the little churches that was being renovated. The corners, I, I always called it the corner. Yeah, um, so that would be, I think that, the few homes that it would affect, that would be a hard thing to finance to get through, I think, the voting public to, <coughs> we're, we're going to have to look at it like that. Is right, what absolutely. what are these projects? What are the odds of them being approved by the voting public? So, so what are the what are the benefits to the to the town basically? Well, it has to be a balance, right? I it mean, has to be least. a balance. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you were extending the sewer down 32 the other way to say Marine Park, that's a river saver right there because you're taking all those septics off right from the you know right. being right along the river. But aren't you doing the same thing going up 32 from Route One? Not only that, you're you're not having to cross the river again. You you you, technically you technically you could make you could make that argument, but that's a much harder. Um, Push. The the topography of that area is much harder. You're going to need pumping stations in between. Um, the cost dramatically. You know, <coughs> there, the, it's just driven by the amount of. It's right. not a gravity system then. Right. What, how far up are we, the sewer um, depot street? Does it go up? It okay. just goes to depot. Just to depot. Right. So we have water going up depot a bit, I but, not, so too. but not sewer yeah. yet. I just, I just wanted to point that out, that in the end, you know, you've got to make this sellable to the voting public. Mm -hmm. And if the business park was the town's. Mm. Mm. But the business park is... It's a private enterprise. Right. Yeah. I'm just saying, it's that's going to be your hard row to hoe. Yeah. But on the flip side, if, uh, you know, presumably, you know, a good portion of the funding will come because of the business park. Correct. So let's say it's a million dollar project, so a million dollars in. So the other, at least a million would have to be matched right. from other sources. Um, right. and, um, yeah. Yeah, the other thing is, if you're going to have an open trench, <coughs> Situation of putting a conduit in there to put fiber in mm. to go to the industrial park area <clears throat> that would could be nothing more than a backbone kind of infrastructure, not one where you have drops all along the way mm. to get the fiber up into that area with the bandwidth they need for it, uh, breaking it out. For the if industry. you're going to put conduit in, you could periodically stub right. it out. Yep, that's right. Yeah. So that's another. So you could maybe that. use funding that would support that kind of a thing to leverage and assist with this. Right, and it might not, and you might have to get somebody to do it that would be uh, someone new, by the way, like OTT, which they've oh, changed right. their name, yeah. but other another company that yeah. is more into the infrastructure aspect. The backbone part, yep. yep. Gotcha. Are there any other utilities that could go into that trench in addition to the fiber? I don't know. I mean, <coughs> that's the electrical, taking a taking it off the poles and putting it underground, I'm just... Yeah, you could, you have to step all this, you know, uh, it, has to, right. it can't be in the same trench. I can remember a, a project trench. in a city where they where they dug it up for the sewer, they dug it up for the electric, they were digging the same place, it was yeah. ridiculous. Well, we went through that in Johnson, Vermont, yeah. when I was living there, they were going through the village, putting everything underground, get rid of the poles, and trying to figure out how to layer it in the, in the trench, yeah. for okay. all the possible possibilities for the next 10 years, right? Yeah. It was a huge discussion for many days. <laughs> but at this stage, the project would probably be, you know, from the town's point of view, 
would be somewhat exploratory. You know, figure out the best route, figure out. The big hiccup will be the matching money. That, it, with all these projects, it's the matching money. Right. You know? But from EDA's point of view, we can make a strong case for serving the park. On a, but we would have to find. I mean, wouldn't you want to be? A, wouldn't you want to be in a position that you could say, if we do this, then we will attract these companies? Oh, I, I think that's that's an element that George can make that case for. He can expand his his. Um, he can expand the land area and also increase the density at the park. So he yeah, because he's limited now with whatever. Because he's on septic. Sub, there's yeah. a yeah density requirements. You know, uh, so that he he would have that ability. To I think he could also expand the types of businesses that could go in there. <coughs> yeah, what? there's kind of a, I mean, there's kind of a sector cluster going on there with yeah. the, the well, seaweed the and, you know, mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the uh, marine waste. Right. <laughs> the, uh, the bugs. I, and, and I don't want to sound like the wet blanket. I just want everybody to be oh, yeah. aware yeah. that that's going to be, yeah. have to be sold to These the public. These kinds of things point. can sometimes take, if you're lucky. 10 years. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, this is not something this is, that. Yeah, this is I know. You almost have to have somebody that wants in there to create the full group. Yeah. To get yeah. the tax yeah. revenue up. Right, I, I just wrote that. I said, mm -hmm. you know, the primary benefits the park, but, you know, yeah, if they attract new business, that's going to increase the tax base, which yeah. is a good thing overall for the town. So. Well, that's, that's one of the things EDA is going to look at. We're going to serve an existing park but also what is the future job potential. And, right. and the, the case we make for that is something that will get their attention. Okay. From it, their perspective. Is it possible to propose this without the requirement of tax money? Just uh, private how, funding, uh, uh, bank funding, yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. loan funding. Banks. How you match it is up to you. would have to pay for somehow. Yeah. Yeah, well, you'd probably want. Uh, yeah. Buy well, in. here's the other thing, too. Mm -hmm. that uh, and we haven't talked about this, you know, at length, but it, it's a recommendation in the plan is explore the use of TIF districts. And that that is one where you take that industrial park, put it in a TIF district, so any new development that goes in there that's that captured new tax value goes into the TIF account, and we could use that to pay down a bond. Mm. What about a CEA? What? CEA. What's that? Somebody just, I was just talking to somebody and then maybe I have the wrong acronym. But, um, I'll figure it out. In lieu of taxes, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, I think that, I'm not sure if it will work because they're already paying taxes already. I mean, technically, the town, you don't need a tip. The town could say, you know, on its own, we're going to take this, you know, this new value right. and dedicate it. The only advantage of a tip is that it lowers your state valuation, so you pay less. Um, your you know as your valuation increases, your school aid goes down and your county taxes go up. No, so I, that it shelters that new value. Yeah, so for that's, to to some degree, but then well, that's the only real. I mean that and that is a substantial value. But Walterboro does get a healthy, you know, the school district here gets healthy. Uh, you know, state on us. Keeps going up. So it's the at, 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 some, sense. at some point, does the town have to vote on whether to move forward with said, these? Or? Well, oh, yeah, the project, yeah. To put them in the plan, no, this is purely. Yeah, we can put them in the plan, but the town would have yeah, to vote no, to go forward. To act so, on them, absolutely. So I, I would see the town being resistant to some kind of TIF program. Well, the thing is, if people. It isn't a general benefit to the town. Well, that he. Well, he it, had, is a, it, it is. It is to the. Because you're paying down the no the, no 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 we're getting we, killed by the school district right the town lower the, valuation. the town can construct the TIF the way we want the TIF to benefit the town we construct that yeah. TIF the, it doesn't benefit it what it does is it captures they still have to pay taxes but we capture those taxes and use it and use them with a defined purpose that's written into the TIF. Anywhere in town, okay. Okay. The well, three projects. The yeah, it has to right. be an economic project. Right, yeah. it has to. Right, it could be targeted into the district where you're capturing the value, or it could be for townwide projects. Right, but it's all dependent on your work. That's what they did in Rockwood. Right, yeah. right. It's very. It can be very creatively constructed. It's, it's, mm -hmm. and and it it is meant to benefit the yeah. town so that it enhances the development or the growth where where we yeah. target it. 
we, it, the nice thing about it is if we if we know we have this captured value and it you know it sits there it sits there in this fund yeah. and it's predictable for the length of the tip thirty mm -hmm. years or whatever we can go out and bond for something right. get something built now and then use that money to pay down to, the to bond offset it, yeah. so yeah. so no new you know property taxes all right right I mean it's, it's just it's, a, it's just another again that's something we'd have to really market yeah. and explain yeah. thoroughly and that's not well, going to happen overnight right you know, it's, it's because. Stuff. Well, no, I think the problem is is that when TIFFs first came out, TIFFs mm -hmm. were constructed mostly to benefit the project that mm -hmm. was being TIFFed. But over the years, They've I would say it. over the past 15 years, because it, as far as I know, for 10 years, we've had the ability to construct a TIFF strategically to benefit the town and not just a project. So it's all about getting people to understand that mm -hmm. It's a financial str strategy yep. that can be constructed correctly to benefit the town. I think we have to we have to know what that benefit is in order to sell it. Oh, it has to be well, pre not, you We have to know. We what define it. Work, it. Yeah, yeah. We define it. That's what I. It's, yeah. it's our job to define it. <laughs> so to sell the idea, you have to have some exa typical examples of how it could be before you get to Or it. what we're thinking. It, it, yeah. I mean, exactly. I, yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, the, the thing is that it's just the same as the comp plan. The comp plan <laughs> is the same idea. You, you're trying to educate people in what we can do, get people not thinking about the present, but thinking about the next 15 years. And that is a stretching of the mind educational process. Otherwise, you get stuck in what's wrong today and not how we can fix it for tomorrow. So, yeah, this, this, all of these are going to be long term. I would say. So let's but which one is the most likely to be? Oh, hang on. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that yet. No, no, I'm not going there. I'm just, I'm just wondering of the, of the four we're looking at, are all of them potential TIF related projects or is one of them no. more TIF related than the other? Uh, no, all could be potential. Okay. So then, yeah. but the TIF would relate to our decision. To, to pursue matching funds. So right. that, that's an internal, okay. yeah. <coughs> and this list of anticipated possible things isn't, isn't a, that's like what is there out there that we might be able to grab as a matching that's fund thing. Right. It right. doesn't, yeah, it doesn't yeah. mean that we're going to. Okay, so uh, the, the second one to talk about, I'm gonna go right to the next sewer expansion because that kind of sure. goes in hand. So we have another uh, said for Sewer expansion to Madomic Valley <coughs> High School. That'd be a long. That's a long way out there, isn't it? That's a long expansion, right? It would go, go from the treatment lagoon area. Two thirty-five. Two thirty-five. All the way up. Overland. Overland. Oh, Presumably I see. Overland. Yeah. yeah. To get it right. And that, that I mean, would be like creating a whole new road. Yeah. yeah. That's oh, a yeah. great. Pro I mean, there's plans for it. There's been plans. There's been money long spent time. for that already. So. Yeah. I would say we were talking about that one at least fifteen years ago. Yeah, this is a long-term, yeah, right. for EDA, this is dependent on economic, uh, right. an economic benefit. This is a little state. harder to defend yeah. because it doesn't have yeah. a direct yeah. economic benefit. We would have to create mm. That's where you could put your municipal business park. That's right. Is, is it private land between? No, no, no. Yeah. yeah, it's all private. I mean, it's, it's all private. All pieces. <laughs> yeah, you would have, I mean, this one, this one's a hard show. This is, Long-term yeah. planning. Long-term, yeah. Real so long-term. And this would go straight across from where the treatment facility is now, over to where the school is. It's when this came up, though, they had the the. I guess there's four property owners. I think it is that actually were interested in it. For them to sell the property, to give a right yeah. of way, or to. Right. I believe it was a up. more sell and right of way issues. <coughs> and getting a hookup. For for their yeah. property. Well, there was a paper street that went through there originally. That's why it was even talked about 15 years ago. The nice thing Say about that again, hang on. There was a paper, so somebody had, had designed a road design. through there? Well, there was a there was an old road through there. Well, there was there that physically, physically a, physical a road. Oh, that okay. that's interesting. We have a lot of old roads yeah, that have been road. abandoned all over town. 220 over the right. Wagner Bridge. Right. Yeah. There's yeah. one there, too. So a project like this, if you include it, this is something, it's on there, hey, you look at it, mm -hmm. if an opportunity comes up or right. we have the ability to, you know, get a grant for $3 million for, mm. right. or a company says they want to locate there, and we can pull this right. out and say, all right, we've got something. 
George, we're reviewing the suds right now, and of course we just did the industrial part. <laughs> the business part. What time did you what time did you start? Eight. Oh, yeah. I apologize. No, no, so so uh, this needs to get in the minutes. This has to get in the minutes. Our meetings always start at eight, third Friday of the month. Okay. That, it, that's never changed. It's always been that way. Uh, well, we now have it established in the minutes that I screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> Soon we'll know I went to the bathroom. No, but he, uh, Bob asked me. Bob asked me last. In defense, we've had some inconsistencies over the last six months because people haven't been available. And so we've delayed or we postponed or we haven't had the meeting and it kind of- And like the subcommittee meeting for the energy, which you've been involved in that's starts right. at 8.30. It, it that's that's the confusion. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I, I don't anyway. disagree with that, but the economic development committee meeting, as long as I've been chairman, okay. starts, at eight, starts at eight and is the third Friday of the month. Unfortunately- Un Unless the committee agrees to change I'll that. I'll forget that's, that. That is- <laughs> I was emailing a realtor about a land lease, a little business development effort. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing the committee's work. Yeah, doing yeah, the yeah. committee's work. Doing the committee's doing work. Doing the work. work. <laughs> <laughs> so did you decide to put sewers to the... To well, let's talk can. about it. Let's go back and talk about it. Wait, that. I so just want to make sure I have it right in the minutes. So uh -oh. the meetings start at 6 p.m. on the fourth <laughs> Monday of every sixth month. Exactly. <laughs> Trust you're recording Thank this. You. <laughs> <laughs> we are. <clears throat> So, so, uh, um, so the one thing we didn't, so we had a pretty good discussion about what the concept was, um, how, how it would be physically accomplished, but what we, what we didn't really S know that well. we're talking about? Yeah, yeah. To, to the uh, business part. But what we don't know is, you know, how will that impact uh, the ability to attract new business to the business, to the business part? Well, I will give you an example. Um, it, the project I'm working on right now, or trying to work on, um, I kind of wish we weren't recording, requires a lot of water, which I have, but also requires disposing of a lot of water, same amount actually. Mm. Um, but having met with John Fancy, it wouldn't be, unless it was a whole different rate structure, they would never, oh. they would never be able to afford to give him that much almost wastewater yeah. mm. it's it yeah, would have had eels swimming in it what yeah. so the rates would be too high yeah it would have cost him like three hundred dollars a day is that based a on day. the cost of building the system a capital recovery mm, no that, that was just operating. using his that's just, that's that's just his flow rate charge yeah. so that those that gallon is 20 gallons right. 20 gallons a minute yeah so that's that's nothing. Nothing. 20 gallons a minute is nothing but that's it's 30,000 gallons a day yeah, yeah. yeah. you know I just did a thousand gallons a minute I sent water here at 120 gallons a minute for 10 years, but there was all the water. Yeah. This would be like a, what do you figure, 30% increase in yes. the flow? Yeah. And he said that that could be negotiable, but uh, I mean, I know that's a big number, but- $300 it, a day. $300 a day yeah, would, be a, would be a little, would be prohibitive, yeah, yeah. big time. Wasn't he screaming for water when we did the Sylvania? Yes, he wants him, more water. He wanted more water. That, and I'm, it's probably not fair to write that have written that number down because the question that that was the answer to is what would that cost residentially to dispose of? Mm. Which is... Uh, residential rates are different than commercial rates? Yeah, well, and then also a lot depends on what you're disposing. They, mm. they have to figure the treatment. Yeah. You know, mm. so it, some, some are less, some are more. Yeah, this, this, would, this would have had eels. Wouldn't that help him? Help. John the Fancy? Process that he yeah, deals probably would. with over in the yeah. farms over there? It, it would have some nitrites. And in it's also, in fact, the land up behind there was originally permitted for the squash processors to spray water up in the woods. And that probably will be what's look, being looked into up, up on the, over the top of the hill where it's just, it's not really good for building space, but it's... They can't recycle the water? I know a lot of people try to do that yeah. but that's yeah and uh, in fact that's a category of yeah. aquaculture yeah. the um, the trick is what is the most and they've got engineers working on it right now what's the most cost-effective way to, to to have the equivalent of 20 gallons a minute of relatively new water yeah. 
Anyway, so it, the answer to your question is, um, it has to be a good thing to have sewers, but if I'm completely honest, which I tend to be, um, the buildings that are already there have adequate disposal for what they're doing. Uh, we, we send wastewater over to Rockland through interstate because it's too rich to put into a leach field. It, it could go to our sewer treatment plant and it would, it would save Ocean Organics a little bit of money every week, but it's, it's, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it's not a game changer in any sense at all. So, if the, so the honest answer is it would be a plus, but I can't quantify how much of a plus unless I know what the future uses of the land are going to be, and yeah. and we're you know we've got space for some more. So my, my what I was wondering is is can you say if I had town sewer at this at this location I would be able to attract this business? Like this is, is it a game changer business. within the business park? Not now because we have room for leach fields and we have no businesses that we know of with heavy water use except for this one that we know of as an example and we would have to have a whole different we, if he if John Fancy had said sure that'll be I'm sure we could take that for ten dollars a day then I would have a, a different answer for you yeah because then there'd be a concrete example of boy if we only had this pipe we would be filling it or using it yeah uh, but because the first answer to the first go round of discussions was such a big number, I don't, I can't give you a, I can't give you a, the kind of answer I'd like to, frankly. Yeah. All right. So probably good I got here late. <laughs> so if one were to compare projects, sewer projects, going to the high school or going to the business park, I'd say the high school. You would say the high school. I, honestly, as a citizen, I would. Yeah. Except for the SEDS, it doesn't have the same um, we ability don't have an economic to no, have an economic, an economic benefit. destination. Yeah. 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 Well, the, the economic destination would be the municipal business park that's set in there between the two if, if we, locations. Yeah, that, and that could be a strategy, or yeah. a business is going to locate there, and because we're extending the sewer. You're not having to cross a river. That's right. Yeah. You, mean, you mean if there was a line going up? If there was a line going from the sewer, the existing yeah. sewer overland. to the school land, over yeah. the high overland, school. creating a new, overland. creating a new, uh, yeah. road, a new, a new a parallel to Route One yeah. development Something area, yeah. 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 I, which was a suggestion brought up uh, six town managers ago. Yes. Yeah. Why wouldn't we um, make that part of the set? Uh, why wouldn't we expand it? Not just be a sewer line to the to the school, but say, and a. You know, a new oh well, that that's basically what we're saying. Is that yeah, is that we just use the the locus to the, to the high school as a location. Does the town school. own any land that would be along that route that we would be able to use for that purpose? I don't think so, but I I'd have to. I know that we have that. land I all over. I like we have yeah. little. I don't recall like a massive plot somewhere. No, I think it was all going to have to be acquired. It has to be yeah. acquired. Anybody who isn't paying their taxes. <laughs> no, not there. Yeah. <laughs> but isn't it just the right of way we'd have to require uh, acquire? Well, when you want to have pads to have businesses. I, I don't know. I, oh, it's for the municipal park. Yeah. You know, I'm saying section great. of that, but the you rest could, of it would be just a. Some of it's right away. Some of it you actually have to cross land. Okay. You, you could do this in phases. You'd probably want fee simple to the right of way, but you could put, um, you could purchase enough land to accommodate a road, but the initial construction could be, the sewer. And then you build the road mm -hmm. as people develop along, because that that's another costly. That's a big thing. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure we can get federal support for 20 percent. So we're gonna. I think what we'll do is I want to go through each of these first, and then um, I think it probably makes sense to kind of rank where we where we think they kind of fit. Does that make sense? All right. All right. So uh, let's move on to. So this is interesting. A.D. Gray Community College. I really thought that was kind of cool. Was so what? That, that was, I have to thank Max for that. That's a really I, good I idea. Thought that was so yeah. yeah, that was a very And now good that they have the, that came, um, so. yeah. <laughs> the Norwegian <laughs> Aquaculture Company going into Belfast, creating 60 new jobs within the next two years, a uh, $500 million project, it actually then 
what's this? That's a salmon. It's the salmon, it's salmon project. project. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. but keep in mind, this project is really not um, location dependent. It's concept we just, based. It, yeah, it, we, we picked a space. The, because 80 yeah. gray might not. Yeah. It right. might not be there. Yeah. Right. Well, we were more concerned about, and Max's idea was the, the concept of a. Um, right. The, the facility yeah. more programmatic um, yeah because yeah, you would technically just need a small space and the idea was was to use existing facilities out there a lot of um, um, internships with existing businesses so it was going to be um, I think we should talk to the community college well that would be yes. part of this stream. well I think we yeah. should talk to them anyway. what, is, what is the f I've forgotten what the facility is that's across the street from the high school that kind of down below the road a little bit it's part of you, Maine, I thought. Community, oh, County Extension Office. Isn't oh, that yeah. the agriculture? Yeah. The agriculture. Yeah. Yeah. Agriculture. County yeah. Is that anything that is would interface? I mean, no, no, because no, this would be about the community college system. And the only this would be like Eastern Maine Community College. Cent cent like Central Like what they Maine. did in Thomaston? Uh, Dan Mercata has a little satellite yeah. from one of them for CNAs. And yeah, okay. like yeah. Central Maine. Who, yeah, Central who? Maine Community College has like a satellite program that uh, is in is in the Lincoln Health Building, like right next to the yeah. town office there. Yeah. So, and they do CNA training and so forth. Yeah. And we were thinking because we had originally spoken to Eastern Maine, not Eastern, uh, Lewiston, the one in Lewiston, Central, 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 Central Maine, Maine uh, Community College, originally about the idea of a um, a satellite with a food That's a culinary, culinary, culinary yeah. uh, school in Eighty Gray, and uh, they were very uh, interested and they um, that uh, that could have we I think it was that we had really just determined we only had 80 gray as an option that it just didn't go anywhere we um, talked a bit about the button factory I know it's privately owned but it's just sitting there mm. It'd be a nice location for but you just said why I <coughs> didn't include it it's privately owned and yeah. it's just sitting there Right. I, I agree, but and I wouldn't you can't take it off the list. Uh, Interests were shown. A actually, the, 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 the real um, critical thing for this idea is the concept and the program. Right. Finding a place for this, okay. I think, is like secondary. Yeah. Right. It's so really secondary. So I have a dumb question, I think. Who owns community colleges? Does the community own community colleges? No, no. They're Who owns them? They're, they're private, chartered by the state of Maine. So in, in this example, we, who would own this facility? Who would own this community? We would need, uh, yeah, w Waldeboro would act as a facilitator to bring um, a, a, a community college, college, a community college, college or a, a consortium in. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, ideally it, this would be a consortium, public-private partnership between community college and the marine-based industries in the area. Yeah. I like that. And, and particularly, we already have there's a couple of shipbuilders that operate their own training programs because they can't find yeah, people. And that would be a nice place to consolidate and share those resources. What do, what's going on over in Thomaston relative to that and that, and that part of uh, Lyman Morse that does <coughs> uh, power generation off of, uh, for remote? That, that's a huge technology. Yeah. Uh, Lyman area. Morse is a leader in training. And yeah, they're, they're doing that whole in house training. That's a program. separate business. They get government contracts yeah. to build those portable systems. Solar generators all over the world. Right. Military. You know about it. Though. I've been reading about it for years. Right. I'm waiting for them to I have, size I it down to a, a nice little residential unit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this project is probably the most, um, uh, I think it fits into our asset based, yeah. you know, economic profile for the town and the region. Yeah. So this. So the other thing that's interesting to me is, so you would know that there's a group in town that's mm -hmm. looking at turning that yeah. building into a community center. Yeah. But and, but some of the things uh, that you've listed here, well, like you know having the Head Start like program idea. there, are things that they're talking about yeah. as well. So it's almost like a look, almost well, like a combination of ideas. In a way. I think it was um, it was written you know just to center it at a place, but. Uh, one of the things Our was if you used, if you had a large space, this school would probably not take up a lot of square footage. So you could right. the initial yeah, bring, I mean, the um, field, field press could be another possibility. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, is it a com competitor of the technical school that is building the new technical school? Oh, and no. Rockland? This no. is a different, this would be a um, different age group. Different Rock, age group. College. Rockland, yeah, college. Rockland would be a high school group. This would be more right. just college. anyone who graduated high school. Something. Would it be like a two-year program kind of school? For Th technicians of very could be. junior high school programs. Yeah. Well, it, it depends could be on the community college. What could they, be a component they would set it up, the education part. Traded out. Right. Yeah. The other thing we had talked about was that it doesn't have to just focus on agriculture. It can actually focus on The thing that this area is short of is two-year educated technicians. Right. The trade. So Let me give you an are, example. Yeah. Um, there are plenty of PhDs. So the Southern Maine oh. Community College. We're actually is, talking um, right now about this um, 80 grade community college. Yes. Sorry. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. 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 So Jim, just as an here. example. Uh, I gave mine because okay. I, I printed my, my own note. Okay. Just a quick example to take off what John said. Southern Maine Community College offers a two-year degree in composites, yeah, both right. shipbuilding, Perfect. aviation, yep. right. and all, which is a great program, but they're finding they need a certificate program, mm -hmm. um, very short-term, three months, right. six months, eight right. months, because industry needs people that can go in immediately to do right. particular functions, you know, uh, to get them, you know, somewhere in, you know, uh, working in the process of creating these composite boats and that they could get trained later on, you know, advanced. So I think uh, from what mm. we're picking up from the aquaculture people is that that's where their right. need is immediately. Right. And then we can expand that. Mm -hmm. Right now what, I've, what I hear in this town is when kids get through high school and they don't want to go full college, they go down to Pennsylvania to some kind of a diesel mechanic specialty training course. Right? So yeah. we need to bring that back back here but it broaden it out to cover the disciplines of today not just diesel and what the business and we is know there's a need right. for diesel mechanics right right julie no. <laughs> yes, yes we do. yeah <laughs> another an additional nuance could be to somehow to tie it into julie's idea of the aquaculture museum slash educational center yes that would be a lovely thing if we could do yeah, that. absolutely yeah. just round up the curriculum a little bit we, we had an idea of a place for the, I mean, a place in terms of size. And in Augusta, they, uh, what was that college that started with a K? Um, oh, Kaplan. K Kaplan. They, they purchased a Staples building, yeah. which is kind of small square footage. So and that was our idea. You don't need a big space, but you need some sort of place, you know, uh, yeah. and it could, you know. Are, since it's a, uh, the application's being a school, are you better off just building a new building than trying to convert an existing building? You know well, I mean? yeah, it, it, I mean, it really depends. We're, you know, again. Because you got to have all the, the yeah. safety and the fire yeah. and all that kind of. Well, again, it, it would be considered a college, so it's not the same right. building it's not code the, as right. a not elementary or something. They didn't build any special anything for the uh, satellite in Damascata. Okay. But it's a concept. We're yeah. not. Yeah. It's yeah. And it's not naming a place. Right. We're not. Concept. We did it's name a place, but we're not. Well, the it's point just is an example. It's, it's just, an just example. located around. You don't have. You're not married mm -hmm. to anything in here. Yeah. This yeah. is just to get you on the record for the project. Right. Yeah. 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 Down in where the Brunswick uh, Naval um, Base closed, they put in a University of New Hampshire mm -hmm. extension program. At yeah. The Southern, 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 Southern Maine Community College. Yeah. yeah. Southern Maine Community. That's where right. they do the composites for Southern Maine. Oh, okay. So that is already in the area. That yeah. Mm -hmm. it goes. Yeah. yeah. So that's a competition it's an hour. situation. Yeah. One additional thought, uh, I know this because I'm involved with the uh, Midco School of Technology as the region name. Uh, we do this with Kennebunk, uh, KCC. And, um, part of the th planning for the new building was to bring them into some of the biological spaces so they can do lab work and so forth for their, you know, call it forensic, public safety, their police training program. Uh, and the aquaculture is the next thing under that. I'm very uh, surprised and how difficult it is, even for a, a well-established school, to drive this process, the educational piece, not the building place, not the redevelopment, through the state. It takes three mm. years. So this might be a terrific idea, and you've got a building somewhere. Three years in the state. Yeah, well, this is not going to happen over No, no, no. No, I'm just, right. I'm just mentioning it. It's a planning right. issue that it's not a short-term sort of no, thing. It and takes we, and to get them to bless the, the program. The but program that's for itself, the high, that's the building, high school else, level two stuff. Well, dealing and with the youth. It's no, this is two different no, 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 this is community college. Yeah. Kennebunk Community College. Right, yeah. but are they going to... And they're doing certificate programs, just like we're For talking. the high school kids. For the community college kids. There, there is and the high school kids can get yeah. the credit toward right. them. 
Yeah. But this is for community. And we have the same. Pro we have a similar program for from other uh, University of Maine uh, in our high school. That, yes, that's early college. Right. That's different entirely. Yeah. That's not a certificate. Program. You could ideally you want a community college because they, they have the infrastructure right. and they. But you could start this from, you know, pull together the existing training programs that are out there, particularly with the marine trades, mm. and that could be, you know, and there's some ad hoc <coughs> training going on in the agriculture industry. It's real ad hoc. You can create some structure with it and build it that way. Because um, you're right, the university would be a decade. You know, well, probably not that long, but a long yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're not easy to do with. Yeah. But the community colleges are a good place to yeah. The need is in that kind of a small... Absolutely. Yeah. Well, they're a little more nimble than... Yeah. Yeah, well, and if we could put money into it, PDA would put money into it, and they love workforce training projects. Yeah. So I think this is a great idea. Okay, good. Thank you. And, and so one more, right? One more. So the last one is commercial slash mixed use activity connecting downtown village to Route One. Interesting. Okay, so. Background. This goes back to a, a, a consortium that was done in, I think, 2011, 2011, where they talked about um, a stretch of Route 1 and what the possibilities would be if it was redeveloped and also connecting it into the downtown village. Is that part of the Gateway 1 thing? Uh, actually, it was the thing after. It was the, vision, it was the visioning project, project in 2011, yeah. and the Gateway 1 thing had a similar, similar. Uh, recommendation yeah. for future growth. Yeah. And what it does is that you have this downtown, you have the historic village, uh, and then you have Route 1, and then you have the area in between, and you have your traffic on the Route 1, and it doesn't always connect to the village, yeah. so it's to bridge it together on that. And we see this, in, this is not an, a, you know, a novel concept, that we see it in a lot of communities where they take that space in between and create like kind of a master plan to bring people into those areas, make it more attractive, and, and there's a lot of assets. We have a river that goes along there. We have some of the streets that connect that are kind of underdeveloped. They're all underwhelming instead of overwhelming, you know, on that. And so it'd be to, you know, create some um, incentives along the way to, to, you know, get that here so we can pull people in from one. And also create a desert, kind of a new design scape for that, this section of Route 1. A little more attractive, little also increase the signage. density. Yeah. I mean, you have the Irving Station, you have the whole wasted there you go. parking yeah. area, yeah. which we could do something with. And then yeah. you have on the other side, you know, we could push development further up. We have the property for sale, the, the Hannaford property that's for sale that oh, connects the, the field crest. I mean, there's all those possibilities there. If you even have space in front of the town office. So of the four that's where routes. my farmer's market's going. Let's, well, not, let's, not, let's not give away my space in front of the town. But that no. fits into this. That, you know. yeah. And then you have connections between um, where the Dane zone uh, land on Route 1 that connects to Philbrook Field and connects to 80 Gray and connects to the library. So you have different stretches, you know, there that connect back and forth. So there's, you know, you, you have to look. This is like big picture. Uh, and most of the money initially will be spent for some sort of plan. Some sort and you're not talking about commercial development necessarily. You're talking about mixed. Yeah, and, and it, yeah, something to fit the character. It's undefined at this point, but mm -hmm. but if, uh, for for EDA, they're going to want to know this is going to be a tourist and business has a tourist and business attraction component. But it could be a it could be partially parks, it could be oh, residential, yeah. it yeah. could be commercial. Yeah. Absolutely. Restaurants, yeah. uh, right. shopping. The shortest route is right across the street over here, right down. I think that's another terrific yeah. idea. I really like that. Yeah. I really like that idea. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, sorry, go ahead. The, the idea of um, the access of, we have, we have Friendship Street, <coughs> And then you'd, you'd go down a lot of hills to the, to the river. Yeah. If there was a road parallel to Friendship Street between or closer to the river, it would be upsetting to some of the people who've got their lumber businesses there. But if but if you started across the street from where Dr. Bowden's office is, because it's already a road that goes down to what used to be the sewer treatment area, yeah. if if somehow there was a, a way to drive or walk all along that. Past the button factory, um, 
that, that whole area would be lovely. I have no idea how you pull it off, but if you were looking at the 20 year plan, right. I, I can imagine that, like downtown Belfast has a road that runs along the water yeah. and it's yeah. covered with good things going on. And they started back in the early 80s. Mm. Took them a long time oh. to get to. But, the, but in other words, uh, the, uh, the walking up and down the hill does matter in town, certainly for me. <laughs> uh, and the, it seems like everybody's getting older every year. Uh, the lucky ones. <laughs> but anyway, I, if you're talking about um, you know 10,000 foot views of 20 years from now, seems like there's going to be a road along or navigable, whether it's um, just walking or driving. But there's there's a great lost opportunity along the river there. I know the towns looked at walking paths and parks. The land trust, yeah. the land trust has done most of the Special. work on that. Yeah. yeah. Well, downtown, had we been able to procure that property from Mr. Cabot, that yeah. was the start was of a beautiful right. plan. Right. The the other side of the river, beside Store Lumber, there's a, a cut there where water comes down through, which sort of seems to be a a mental barrier. But yeah. look at the Golden Gate Bridge. I mean, we can we can get across yeah. ditches. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, that was like, but the start was going to be to start because we're doing the landing this spring. Yeah. On the other doing, side. Right. Yeah. You can wrap it around. Just to wrap it around. But and I like a walking the, trail's fine. The Little conceptual idea of connecting old row one and yeah. new I mean, row one is just really brilliant. I think. I, I, I mean, we've yeah. talked about that forever here. How do we, how do we attract people into the village? Right. Yeah. Because we got these two lovely ways, to, you know, Moody's and, yeah. and we got these two lovely ways into the well four lovely ways into the village, but there's no real, if you're driving along route one, right here, there's nothing that brings you that way. There's no, no. yeah. Yeah, and you know, like Max said, when we, I asked Max, do you know anything about Waldeboro? And he said, there's a lot of gas stations. Yeah. yeah. Right? And that's what everybody yeah. does, you know. I mean, and that's our claim to fame if you need gas. Moody's but, uh, and gas stations. Yeah, well, Moody's and the gas stations all go together. You know, yep. Yes. Yes. Great place to get gas. What are you yeah. saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've heard rumor that Deb Stein would like to move back up here if they could find a suitable place for. Oh, that'd be yes. nice if they would. Yeah. There's yeah. stuff open downtown. <laughs> yes. There's a building for sale right now. Yeah. 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 Right. Deb yes. Stein's yes. place. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shoot. I Deb Stein would. Yeah. That would. That would create a parking problem. We would hope so. Yeah, that's what you read me. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that that would draw people. We, we had a good place for lunch downtown for a number of years that didn't work out. Mm. Yeah, I always tell people parking problems are a good problem. Yeah. That's a good problem. We, yeah. we can yeah. fix yeah. that. Unless you're in Wiscasset. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, unless you're the one circling the block, frankly. <clears throat> Get one of those 12 parking spots. <laughs> no, we All right, good. So, um, well, should we prioritize? Do you think we should prioritize these? Is there yeah, a point you could, yeah. That? yeah, you could prioritize them. Absolutely. I mean, you're going to be, you know, the first step is getting them on the sets, and then it's your, I mean, you know, it, it's a formality to get it there because we're, we're not limited it. to these. No. Absolutely not. No. 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 So, so, and you can add, you can add new ones every year. You can take them off. You can them take on. them off every year. Uh, it, it seems to me it would make sense for us to stick with these for now, stick with these four, see if there's some that we want to get behind and support. Um, we, we made the distinction, or I tried to push the distinction last time I was on time for a meeting, um, the difference between prioritizing and sequencing. Yeah. Mm. Sequencing has logic behind it, prioritizing has politics behind it. Mm. I was just thinking in the same vein and thought, mm. pick, pick the one that would take the least time first, yeah. mm. and then move out. Yeah. And let, the uh, particularly if they build on each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are all long-term for the most part, all of these are long term. I, I'm, I, I'm what, what I interrupted for was um, word choice, not if, word choice and presentation. If more you than had that. to sequence something that, you know, we would spend time with, what would you start with, George? What would you think? I don't know. I <laughs> well, you know what? We, um, we could put a couple on the top. And let's, I, let's uh, I'm going to ask, I'm going to uh, look okay. for votes. All right, let's vote. And so um, I'm just going to, I'm going to name the project and you just tell me if that's your number one 
a sequence or slash priority project. Can I recommend a small change that you read all four <coughs> just to refresh everybody? Okay, so here, okay, so here are the four. Um, commercial <coughs> mixed use activity connecting downtown village to Route One. AD Gray Community College. Sewer expansion to Madomic Valley High School and sewer expansion to uh, Business Park. So those are the four. So uh, I guess just the members, can everybody vote or just the members? Just, just, just the members, huh? Oh, too bad, all right. So just the members. And Bob, you should not vote because you don't want to. Unless you got one that you really, really like and then just oh, let us God. know. <laughs> just <laughs> wink or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want nominations for number no, one? No, no. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna read them out, and you tell me if it's your number one or not. So, okay. uh, uh, business park sewer expansion. Anybody? Okay. Madomic Valley High School sewer expansion. That's one. Ad Gray Community College. Two. Did you vote for that? Yes. So that's three. You did it as soon as you turned your head. And the last one is commercial mixed use activity connecting downtown village to Route One. You can't. Oh, you're voting for two. Yeah. You can only vote for one. You can only vote one. for one. Oh, one, 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 one for number one. That's right. One for number one. one for number one. So which one's your number one then? Actually, that was number one. Okay. So, he, so we so got take two. Them off the other take one. me off the other one, please. Yeah. So two uh, and. That becomes zero. <coughs> All right. All right. So, uh, well, that's well, actually, I think that we can use those numbers because, like, this was the uh, so we have the community college that got the most, the bidding downtown and village got second, mm -hmm. and then we could prior or list them, sequence them like that. Yeah. That's how I would sequence them. And then just a question I think, I think we've already agreed. <coughs> Madomic Valley is their expansion would take pr take. Uh, priority, not priority, uh, sequencing over the business park. Yeah. In terms of return left. on effort, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So I think that's the uh, sequence. Would you think the return on effort? And, okay. So Max, did you record that? So the sequence would be... Um, community College, downtown. 80 grade community College. Madomic Valley, Sewer, and then Business Sewer. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah. I, I think there's also, and I'm not suggesting I've done it, <coughs> or that we will be able to, but there, there is a way that the projects could be presented in a logical sequence where the second one makes sense because you finished the first one and the yes. third one makes sense because you finished the second one. Right. That's true, right. actually. Yeah, and, and if you've got a community college, you're gonna need more housing. Yeah. Or, you know, right. yeah. yeah. Most of this is gonna happen, you know, in fits and starts. A lot will be dependent on what money becomes available. Right. Yeah. Yeah, if you have to allocate money, then yeah. you're gonna try and so build the foundation before you build the roof. Yeah. So the question I re remains in my head, the as we hear about the comprehensive plan, which we haven't seen yet. How does this initiative get rolled into the comprehensive plan? It already is. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. It, it we already is. Yeah, we already saw the said that our comp plan meeting. But for example, the, the priorities. <coughs> oh, yeah, that we don't. No, we, don't we, we, we knew you were going to vote for that two weeks ago. Oh, yeah, it's did. already <laughs> in there. <laughs> yeah, so we, we kind of identified generic projects. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I just didn't know how the mechanics of that were going together. I think that sequencing is is our internal priority <laughs> right. right now. I agree. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and it's and we can change our sequencing yeah. anytime yeah. we want. Well, but don't we have to decide at this stage? Do you want to present all four of these? Yeah, uh, I can. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. no reason not to, right? Yeah, yeah right. I think they all meet the criteria for regional projects. You get all them right. in. And next year, when we relook at this, you can say, boy, we thought this was a great idea. It's not going to work, can't find We'll take it out. We'll add something new in. Mm -hmm. No okay. problem at all. Yeah. I mean, it's from Brunswick fluid. Landing, we get about eight projects. Right. Them every it's year. very fluid. Mm -hmm. what do, what's our next step with this? Um, next step is when we schedule <coughs> a SEDS presentation, we'll ask for, in addition to Max, uh, someone, one or more people from the committee to be there and support it. Support it and just make a. You know, you'll be asked to make a five-minute presentation and answer Great. questions. And, and when will that be? Um, hopefully, sometimes by the end of March. It's, it's, it's yet, to be, okay. yeah, yet to be yet to be scheduled. It'll be uh, like start at four or five and something like that. Is there is there a reason there was no discussion of bringing the sewer down through the marine park? 
just didn't even get that on our radar screen. Just wondering. Well, I apologize. This took uh, a lot of time. Um, it's worth it. Yeah, no. So we're going to definitely run really, really late today. Uh, but so, uh, uh, so thank you for thank you for doing yeah, this. It's yeah. terrific. Thank you, Max. Um, John, uh, Community Technology Committee. Yes, yeah, brother. It's the Communications Technology Committee update. Uh, today is the end of the two-week interval that we agreed to with LCI uh, for them to <coughs> announce exactly where they are relative to the grant. We heard. I got an update this morning from Ruben. As he was driving down Manktown Road. Uh -huh. uh, and what he said was, hold on, because it was in Messenger, I got to open up my. I haven't seen that. This is hot off the press. This is, no, this is Messenger. You're not going to see it. He private message. Thanks, <laughs> bud. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's about his wife's wisdom teeth. I don't even know about that. Saw truck doing uh, line work on Manktown Road. Hopefully, that's progress on the fiber stuff. Right. So, that is what he saw today. That's, that's good news. Yes, it was. That's why he. That's the first. At seven o'clock this because morning. He and, that's I have been <laughs> he and I have been comparing the, our I, I being able to sight along the poles. To see yes, what's going so on. he was very excited uh, that that needed to be told so to me at like six thirty. Committed, so right. <laughs> that means they're. <laughs> and so, and within two weeks, we have to do, a, a strategic mailing to get people along, that road and. Uh, and Capitol. I saw Alan last night at the Narrows. Oh, so, he did. Yeah, so they are, they're on track. <coughs> so then we're going to do a timely mailing, and then that mailing is going to be done by LCI to announce this availability. And in concert, in concert with that, the committee is going to offer an evening of like a workshop activity for people that want to have a better understanding of what the gain is for fiber to them in that area over all their alternatives, whatever they are. And there aren't any alternatives other than satellite or using their cell phone. So that's going to happen. So that's the update on that. And the update on uh, our friends with uh, Spectrum and what their uh, interest is in helping us through this other dilemma, which is still undefined as to how we're going to handle it, is these little pockets which have been defined with a list that Julie has. Mm -hmm. That we've provided no, to Spectrum. Yeah, four or five people that are left out that have cable near them that could be expanded, but there's never any collective discussion by Spectrum proposing an, a solution to that to those people. Or, and all they get is an individual, it'll cost you 35000 to go to your house. Mm -hmm. So we've got to we've got to solve that problem. And I've come up with an idea that I want to propose to them if we ever get a meeting with them. And they keep putting us off. We've been after them for a year for a meeting. One year. Hear that? And this is not allowing us to finish the town. And that's what it would take to finish the town, to get us to a certain level of connectivity. So that, uh, in time addition order, to time that, time order is the best option for that. Well, they're already here, and they already are ne nearby. So they are the best option for that. For that, for for that because for Spectrum, some of them. whereas yeah. LCI would have to run a big uh, backbone over to They'd a have long to, yeah, distance. Got it. Yeah. 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 Okay, so that that's where we're at on that, and um, that we also have improved conditions for getting on poles today. I and saw that. Yeah. That's yeah. happening, so it makes it yeah. easier for them to get on the poles or for anyone to get on the polls, for that matter. Mm -hmm. So that's basically uh, where we're at. I don't know what to do about our friend, uh, Mrs. Kinney, <laughs> but we, she's the one who has been uh, promising to come and see us, along with the other individual down in Shelley. Brooklyn, Shelley, yeah. and uh, who knows <coughs> half the people in the town, uh, supposedly, and yet we can't get this traction finish this up and I think it's time to go public on this on the front page of the paper. Good. Oh, call them up. Maya. <laughs> call them up. Yeah. yeah. But call call up LCI. And, and well, LCI. I'm is not a, LCI. A Lincoln Spectrum County Spectrum News, Spectrum. LCN. Lincoln County News needs to tell here. And there call are other up. other neighboring towns that are at some stage of trying to yeah. figure out how to deal with their franchise agreements with 
the cable provider. So there's a great article for a reporter. I know, but if someone would you invite him in and then allow me to read his text after he uh, gets ready to publish it, I might be interested in that. If he did it on his own, I'm not sure we'd, it would <coughs> be a debate. Why can't you do a letter to the editor? You can. You can. You can. Yeah. And multiple of us can. Yeah. And right, and actually really you works. could talk to the other towns. Really you could get the other towns to write letters to yes. the editor who is struggling. Right. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. John, you might know the answer to this. And Julie might too. We have this nebulous, undefined, obsolete uh, franchise agreement. Would it be possible for us to set a precedent and say, <clears throat> we're renewing the precedent, uh, we're renewing the franchise agreement, it's mandatory if you want to operate in town, and it's uh, four people per mile or three people per mile. It has to be negotiated. We, we, we don't get okay. negotiated, but, and it isn't yeah. nebulous and it isn't obsolete in their minds. No, no, I understand, but they're operating on the expired agreement is what I meant. But I wonder if doing so that we don't get to and then the simultaneously point. publicizing the fact in the papers. Well, here's another fact that needs to be straightened we, out. In, in, in we would have some said. leverage there. There's some problem in what you just said. Mm. In the in the eyes of the beholders who have already tested this, that spectrum, the cable providers with the PUC, mm. Mm. evidently they have come to an agreement amongst themselves and, and, and in the state <coughs> that until there is a new franchise agreement, the last signed one is still um, right. Operative. Uh, operative. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, you can okay. stop, you, you can just all shake your heads, no, this is not the time, George, but. No, George, not, the not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. <laughs> at what point in history were there people sitting around a table saying, okay, we can't seem to get electricity down this street. Yeah. Why isn't, why wasn't this process invented when we were putting electricity to because everybody's it's house? Probably and I think it part of this level. is, yeah. part of this yeah. is, here's some of it. Good question. Or do we not it's not it looked like at, th th this is not looked at, cable and internet are not looked at like electricity are, where that's a basic, it's, it's so Why? these, well, because it's, it's, it's not, um, and we'll, we yes. have to take that up with the FCC and the PUs yeah. and everybody, but, yeah. but yeah. some of this is, if you choose to live where some of these people have chosen to live, and I, I can bring in somebody from my own staff who would yeah. say, she wants no public money spent on getting anybody internet, and she doesn't have internet. You know, you choose to live in these areas. Okay, because it's not considered a necessity. It's not a necessity, you know, and is. you can pay for your own, which we have people in town who have gone out and paid $25, $45 to have their service run. So, I mean, I just think that before we get, I mean, my personal opinion is you get more with sugar than you do with vinegar. Um, <coughs> But that's the reality of it is. Some of these people chose to live in unserved areas, um, and that's part of the <coughs> utility cost to run it. I mean, quite frankly, for me to run for, if I was going to build, but when my kids go to build their homes in Damariscotta, they're looking at paying a lot of money to run electricity. It's just the lay of, it's just yeah. the way it is, you know? So, I, I mean, I just want to caution everybody. It's, it's not a, an alienable right that you get high-speed internet or cable. So then the question is, is it the town's responsibility to, to, to well, help to make yeah. that happen? It's it? our, I think it's our responsibility to try to facilitate it, but in the end, that people might have to pay for it. I, I just. I, it, my question really wasn't so but much. It's, but, but so what I'm saying is, sometimes these cases, people just can't afford it, the, to run it. Yeah, but that's why John's suggestion makes so much sense. If you can get Spectrum to the table to talk about these I have, right. a, I have an idea for them, which I've just shared with you. Sense. Right. Oh, no, no. I, 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 have I have no problem with that. I'm just saying, like, before we, I, I just, I, I just think we okay. should chat so a little more about that stuff. Wasn't somebody going to invite a PUC person? I have been reached, I have reached out to him numerous times. I haven't had a response. That was in the December minutes. Of the yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. And then I had said that I hadn't done it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I've reached out with him by email, and I've left a message, and messages I've not gotten a response. Does anyone know him? I know a tiny bit, but not much. I talked to him beside soccer games. Yeah. So give him a, give him a you know. win soccer stick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <yeah>. Spring. <laughs> All right, thanks, John. That's it. Uh, <coughs> renewable subcommittee. So there's not a great deal to um, talk about. I got a call from Chuck um, Piper at Sundog Solar, uh, and he checked and confirmed that his check had been cashed uh, by the CMP administrative yes. group that and they lost it. schedules the uh, pole, the transformer pole upgrade. 
uh, as of this is uh, Friday, uh, Tuesday, he had not heard from. Is it Pelletier? Do you know that mm -hmm. name? Yeah. Uh, and so, and Julie had heard from somebody that it was going to be. be a couple of weeks. Chuck has no such confirmation. He can't okay. get anybody to respond. And to so. well, I've gotten the response as of yesterday. Oh, good. There was um, the check was credited to somebody else's account. So they lost it. They did. They that. literally that lost it. Like they yeah, cashed yeah. it on February second, and then they credited it to somebody else's account. So they uh, fixed that. So now they have the money. So now they have the money. It's now they have to <coughs> schedule it. Okay. So and is there they giving us a, a estimation? I have been told two weeks now, twice. So we are two four weeks, weeks into it. <laughs> so um, so two two weeks has come and gone. Right, right, so it's another two weeks. Well, this will be the start of the next two weeks, so. This is actually the flip side of the question about we have one power company. And, uh, and I'm going to be company. honest. I mean, Chuck's a little, Chuck and Danny are a little baffled, and I think this goes back to, and this is what I want to caution everybody on. I think we go up maybe talking about things like this in public, um, our frustrations with companies, and as consumers, I think that's fine. Um, but when towns start talking about companies in a negative way, or PUC in a negative way, or CMP in a negative way, and we do it in such a very um, vocal manner here and in Augusta, we get the reputation that sometimes, again, you get more with sugar than you do with vinegar. I think that we need to, and I'm not saying this, but I'm saying this, if you're going to poke the bear, the bear is going to poke you back when they get the chance. And I'm really hoping this isn't a chance of the bear poking us back, but I'm starting to think it is. Um, so I just think we, so when you say we're going to say these things publicly or, or do these things and then we're going to start this campaign, that's all well and good as long as you don't need anything. Um, it's kind of like playing poker. You've got to you've got to know what you're you, you've got to know what cards you're <laughs> you're playing with. And sometimes I think sometimes we don't know the cards we're playing with. And it feels good at the time to rail against the big man, but the big man can rail back against you. And I just I'm I'm getting a little uh, frustrated by this whole process, and and I'm starting to wonder if there's not more to it because normally things like this are easily resolved. It doesn't take two but weeks to figure out somebody's check. But by being really patient with Spectrum, it's taken us a whole year to get. And I, that I, I understand that part of it, but yeah. I just, you yeah, know, so do we have animosity so with CMP? I didn't know that. No, no. but well, solar okay. does. And so I want to add a piece to that if I could. And I'm not speaking for Julie. I'm agreeing with what she's saying on the one hand. But on the other hand, when I was uh, involved last year with the testimony from the towns and citizens and companies at the PUC hearings for the solar bill 1473 or what it was last year. This is in the spring when there was such an intensive push for the Barry and Woodson bills and the Saviello bills in Augusta. We made such a push on uh, Abdon and, and Dana. And Dana was a co-sponsor, you'll remember. There was infinite testimony. The overwhelming majority of the testimony at the time was customers, both municipal companies, uh, individuals who are facing exactly the same thing. They've finished their array and they cannot get CMP to, not Amera, CMP to hook it up. Mm -hmm. So this is a little bit of a special case. I agree in general what, with what Julie's saying, but uh, CMP has a long history. I don't know what your experience is when you did your barn. That was quite some time ago. Like and that's been Danny be. and that's been, no, no, Sundog's experience has been so significantly different with us. Um, mm -hmm. That that's that's part of what's feeding my I think thought part of process. It yeah. Could be the company involved in the project. I mean, the division did our barn and our and our garage. No, they've Sundog no. said they've never had issues getting they, hooked up never, before. No. Okay. Yeah. So I, I have a question. How how are we doing on our deadline to get the full credit of the? Uh, well, the we're they're nineteen hundred dollars now in the hole. Yeah, they're, they're, they take the risk. The risk mm -hmm. is on them. They so do, this but is affecting the uh, until the May outcome. one. There's no effect because the May PUC one? pushed it out to May one, May one. through right. April. Oh, well, that's the right. question. Yeah. 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 So, so we still have so a we're we still have that brick wall in the well, first wait a minute, of there's May. There's an effect because we're not we're not right. We're not putting money in. We're not losing the that's true. Sorry, sorry. And then you've also got. I'm sorry. April one to May one. They've extended another month. I think it was. 
And I did it wrong. I think it was a four month did that thing, which is January, February, March, April. So it's May one. It's the deadline so that they sorry. did. Is is I the un, is the incomplete step an, an inspection and a throwing of a switch? No. The no. Three the incomplete step is putting new transformers oh, on top of the okay, hole, to and then. Up. I think it's actually even been inspected, <coughs> and they agree that they need to put the yeah. This is the three transformers is what we're waiting for, and it, you know it takes two hours. What are all the new trenches I see open up there, going between the different arrays? I'm not aware of them. I haven't been up there new in a little bit. Are you sure you're not just looking at after the snow melt, the actual disturbance of the soil? No. There are cables between each string. Of course. Well, they're putting those in now, or there's they're that open. may be something new. I'm not aware. Of. Uh, now they were. This is a, this is the aesthetic trivial question I have, but. Is there going to be a day when we look down there to admire our collectors and they're all in a straight line? I have uh, yet to broach that with Danny. Uh, I figured we'd let this. I don't know if that's a jack screw that needs to be adjusted. I don't know. My suspicion is it's a fixed pole, but I don't know. That That's trivial in the big picture. Does everybody know what we're talking about? Yeah. 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 It's, it's sort of picture. It's, there. it's a little bit weird. Yeah. Yes. And it's actually a sinusoid. Yeah. <laughs> well, good. It's for a reason. <laughs> yes, right. Are they allowable to tell you that the difference in the uh, alignment of them physically, it doesn't matter to the, the efficiency. I'm sure that that's true. But it's aesthetically, it's aesthetically, it's aesthetically weird. It looks yeah. very But it weird. just doesn't look pleasing to the eye. Yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> and, and just wrapping up. Could you straighten those up? <laughs> you have a wrench. Finishing up the report. Um, I have not yet set up a date with the Miller School principal because we don't know when the date's going to be. And right. I don't want to lead them on and on. They know about it, but we're just waiting until we get a hard date. So part of the agreement was that we were going to have some kind of uh, demonstration. Yes. Where LCI put maybe in, in inadvertently their uh, displays, their advertising displays, that's where the kiosk was agreed to go. Well, and, we're, and I think we're going to be kind of reconfiguring the lobby yeah. after this next budget process, hopefully. So we'll have a proper place for things Wall like that. Wall of information or something. <laughs> Wall of yeah. Well, Wall yeah, of we're kind of, yeah, kind of, in, in an interesting way. You never know what so we're going to do out there. We'll show and tell. Okay. Okay. Um, there's one the more window? thing, too. Uh, uh, LD 1444 is up for vote next week, and that was the bill that combined all the solar bills. So that's kind mm. of an important thing, and it looks like it'll probably pass and sustain the governor's you know, veto. It looks like it might be. It it's going to be up to Abdon and a couple of people like him again. What was again. the LD number? 1444. It basically uh, puts the uh, net metering on hold, doesn't change it, but it does critically lift the cap of community solar farm. Right, correct. Right. 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 So that's, that's a huge. very big thing. Yeah, big time. So, so if, there's a, if the vote's large enough in favor, the governor uh, can't Veto it. Is that a veto? He can. They can override the veto. They can override the veto. Yeah. Yeah. With enough votes. In the next. In the next next step. But that's the next step. Right. 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 So anything could happen between the steps. Thank you. Uh, Julie, town update. (laughs) (laughs) Boy, we've went over so much. Um, Anything new that we haven't talked about? Just we're in the throes of the budget, um, and that's about. It pretty much. I What's mean, the, when does the budget get voted on? Not when until June, but it, it'll be there on the warrant. But um, we're going to start meeting soon. Um, I have all but one depart. I'm waiting for two departments still. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a different process this year. I mean, it's the first year I'm going through it. I mean, I'm, it'll be the same. I'm hoping to change things drastically next year, but I didn't want to freak everybody out my first year. You're being very nice this year. I'm being extremely you nice are. this year. <laughs> Very difficult for me. <laughs> so I have a question. We had uh, monies allocated for our brochure and our um, doing business in Waldboro mm-hmm. pamphlet or whatever you want to call it, book, book. trifold, um, which no, I'm not sure we're going to be things. we're going to spend uh, this year. Do we have to re? I can handle that. And yes. Okay. One of the things I'm trying to do is get the committee some money <coughs> this year in budgets so that you can actually do things because right now when all of you want to do things, it's coming out of my budget which I don't really mind sharing, but um, I think you should know what your pot of money is mm-hmm. so that you can make informed decisions. We okay. may get the pamphlet um, we might. printed we, we before, might get a printed before, before yeah. June 30th. Yeah. It's possible. Yeah. It's yeah. possible. We're okay. Okay. Be nice to get a tourist season. One of the things that you've brought up in the past to do with the lighting, the new lighting, was yes. what you don't have enough discretion That's about. That's going in the budget, too. So the LED street, so that's that's in the business. that's in the budget. Um, 
I put that in the, the capital budget. Um, it's, you know, and that discretionary capital fund money ideas going in, whether they'll fly or not. That's in the comp plan, too. Yeah. It should be. It yeah. should be. It is. It's important. Um, yeah. So yeah, so that we can actually start doing things. Like I said, it, 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 the, dip, the main difference that I've discovered now after all this time here is the difference is how I'm slowed down by constraints that we put on ourselves. And we lose money by doing it. And we lose money by doing it. I'm frustrated by the fact that I'm losing money. I could, I, I could normally spend money to save money, and now I can't spend money to save money, and that's a little, that is a little frustrating. But I mean, other than that, um, I mean, that's really what I've been focusing a lot of time on. Um, you're going to see some different changes in some of the departments and how they're structured and how we function. So the, the limitations that have been frustrating you are baked into the cake, and you're, we're talking about... An out-of-the-box way to get around it. So we aren't unbaking the cake, we're just... Yeah, we can't. The only way you can unbake the cake is if you did an actual, um, what Bob's been promoting at the select board level is to go to a charter. Yeah. Right. So. They've been talking about that for years. You know. so, so you're finding ways to... Mm -hmm. Right. Limited by... Because, yeah, yeah you're, lim you're we're really limited by just the way we have to do things. Right, um, because we don't have a town charter. Right. Yeah. Huh? Interesting. We need to form a committee first that has to be voted on by the, by the voters. Yeah, and, and the town charter they often takes three to years to do the to town charter. Mm -hmm. To run the the committee takes three years. To, to the do thought that. was if you if you approve the comp plan in June, the thought mm -hmm. was that putting together a charter committee then would be the next sequence. Right? I think so that's actually very smart. Is that part yeah. of the comp plan? No. Nope. Are we going to have the comp what plan ready by June? Yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. we're going to vote on it. Does Eileen know that? Not yet. I can no. tell her. We're going to meet the twenty. We're meeting so. Tuesday right. night. Sh should we? And this is not the right meeting for the recommend the thought, but should the comp plan? explicitly say we should move toward the town charter? We, we haven't added that, but we can. Yeah, there's no reason we can't. I mean, look, we're just doing our draft. Yeah, these first are first draft of one thing. I mean, if, if that's, I don't know enough about we, we the, the I mean, it's just, case. it's one of those things that it's just, it's complicated. And that, that's like, that. that's what I would say is the most frustration is, mm -hmm. is, is that, and the LED lights are the perfect example of, right. Oof, yeah. You know, but I did get to change uh, how we do our copiers, and I saved us three hundred dollars for a year. <laughs> uh, that felt good, but boy, wouldn't it be great to save thirty-two thousand dollars a year? Yeah, but definitely. you know, I mean, it's it's and you one can't of those do it. things, and yeah. I can't do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, when will uh, the EDC committee see the comprehensive plan? We'll know after the twentieth. We're going to set public hearing dates and. Next, I, I just Next we need EDC to make sure that gets on, and we're getting close to time. Yeah. Can't do that yet. Yeah. Draft. Yeah. You're okay. on the committee, right? Yes, and there's a meeting next Wednesday night, I think. Tuesday. 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 At 8.30. Tuesday. <laughs> at 7 to, at 7.02. 6 in the morning. <laughs> Tuesday. George, do you need me to send you reminders? Yes. Anybody? Don't, don't you have a calendar on your phone? I have. Well, you do not, not sure start do, with that. I'm too old yeah. to use it. I have a calendar on my wall. I have a calendar on my wall. <laughs> and I write on it. I stand and write things I can read. Do you have any technology in your... Do you know that the computer's windows... Yeah, you might be embarrassing has, me now. Uh, <laughs> I, I have a paper calendar that I write things on either pencil or ink. And when I do it in ink, it means ink. It means that it's solid. I know. Question. Yeah. Yes, Paul. I, I, have, we, have you covered that agenda item? Are we ready to move on to the next one? Or I got a meeting in two years. I, I just okay. wanted to ask yes, about whether I have something about the transfer station. Uh, so people are aware of what's going on. Yeah. Oh. Here I think no, 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 it's all right. It's a, it's okay. a different thing. Go ahead. Right. I think we're, we're going to have a new news so thing. Oh, if Seth has something, he wants to talk about. Oh, I did too. You want to give it back to him? Yeah. Yeah. I'll give it back. To him. Who's going first? You want to talk about the transfer? Station? Mine will take a second. Okay. Um, if that's all right. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, five <coughs> rights being delayed, probably six months or so. Um, oh. To take our trash to the Norwood, the, Nor the Norridge Walk dump. It's going to be seventy dollars a ton. Which is about twenty bucks dollars, about twenty dollars less than we're paying now. So we'll actually save money. Okay. Um, but the thing I really wanted to say is that we read down the ordinance, and it's with legal review now. Is they? Um, is there anything? Yes. As of yesterday, they did. Uh, they said that um, they're going to be sending us it. There was no substantive changes, and we did an excellent job. 
Good. Okay. So that means we're going to have to have an they open did warn, meeting. They did warn, right? They did. They did warn us, though, that um, any time that we have to then deal with the fiber rate directly, <coughs> the fiber rate issue, they are rep they represent. Um, oh, they perk. Potential conflict. So we can't use them. This okay. was fine, but in the future we can't use okay. them. So the idea is then to get this done and then get it in front of the select boards. It'll be on the next meeting. All right. So do we all three meet at the same time to go over it or just ours first? I would do ours first. Okay. And then we'll have an open town meeting mm -hmm. to get this done for you first because that's when the, the changeover occurs. That's all. Good. Thank you. So, uh, two things. These are in the form of sort of citizen comments on the one hand and economic development on the other. The first thing that I think is pretty exciting is um, there is going to be a co work space in town on the third floor of the Taction Building. A what space? A co working and event venue space. You know, the old Odd Fellows Hall? And in fact, we hope that maybe the next month's WBA meeting oh. could take this. Are you kidding? We're offering it. Really? So it's I've, an amazing I've room up there. come to an arrangement with Sam. What month is that? Um, Next month, March. March. Yeah. You'd be ready. We can, we can even do it in February if you want. It, it ready? We won't have the new floor in. Right. But uh, so I have leased it from Sam. We're going to build a co work space. Does everybody know what that is? No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Shared space. A shared space. Yeah. Shared so space. so for people like Jan and I and an office, you can rest. Right. Yeah, it's for a person who doesn't need an office or a building but needs the, all the facilities, electronic projection, high-speed communication, copying, color printing, blah, 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 all of that kind of stuff. Conference room space. And especially conference room space, small and large. I don't know, yeah. has anybody been up in that space? It's nice. Yeah, it's a beautiful it's space. It's a great really big nice. room. So, so, so wait, you, yeah, so I hope we'll have WBA meeting We'd here. We'd be very happy. And you get a feel for it. Okay, um, so you guys all know <laughs> this space. I, this is third floor. It's what? gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. gorgeous. Okay, hang on. It, uh, not too much. It's <laughs> now. <laughs> They he told us no dancing. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's third floor of what building? The, the tax, 251. Oh, building. 251 Jefferson. 251 right Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jefferson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're the old call center. Call yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The old Waterboro Bank. Bank. Up there. Anyway, we, we hope to be open by um, April 1, but we're going to actually start operating before then. That's Maybe cool. sometime early in March. That's great. And, That's um, fantastic. So, it, it, you know, talk it up if you know, know anybody that needs it. Our rates are going to be, I was trying to publish it uh, last night before I got here, give you an idea what it's going to be. It's going to be even cheaper than the Buzz, which we hope will be a good marketing ploy. Does everyone know what the Buzz no. is in downtown? Buzz Maine. Kind of so this is sort of like that, but we hope much better managed and actually meeting the needs of small so business Buzz people. Maine, a lady, I think she might even be from Waldoboro. She's she and her daughter started it originally, and it's a co-working space as well, except she has a big... Um, restaurant coffee. kind of coffee, coffee. cafe yeah. kind of part of it. A Except you different. can't eat or drink your coffee there. Oh, you can't? You could not. <laughs> you can go in and you can buy the coffee. It, it, just a little allegory. I know. It's like I went in there when they opened and said, I'm, this is a great place. I, I know multiple people love to use this. Can I buy a coffee and a muffin? And, yeah, yeah. and they have a rope across the co work space. So I said, so can I take a look around? And they said, no. Can I sit right there and eat my coffee? No. You had to be a member. <laughs> you had to be a member. You had to be a member. Yeah. So they have a marketing, and, yeah. and they've now laid off all their staff. There's one person that works from 7 till 1. Yeah. They've, they're done with their wine and bar and their, thank God, it's right, Friday stuff, and they, they haven't had any events since last thing, July. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm picturing what always happens at Starbucks. Um, <coughs> people go into Starbucks with their computers and spend the day. They can. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so you're saying do it, come in from the other side and the idea of a big place with a nice coffee bar where you could work and have a conference. That's not what this is. Okay. You're not Starbucks. That's a ca an internet cafe, of yeah. which we also well, well, Jeff, they, I don't think they've ever done those with right. the real intention of having it be a co worker No, and they're, they're, no. they're very different things. And we might need both, I think. But we don't, we're not It's that. never going to be one thing in your yeah. No, absolutely. But the thing never that, is. if I imagine you might be available to, most co-working spaces, you can rent a space f by the month, you can rent a space sometimes by the week, and sometimes by the day. Yes. And which makes it really useful for people who are on vacation yes. who might need to do some work. Well, we've rented a room at the Samoset for meetings. Right. So now you can rent it right here. Yeah. Yep. So and, and the room, the, the big meeting room will be about 120 people. Right. Uh, the fire marshal has to Right. I mean, exactly that's a great event. So did I hear that right? Yes. Yes. 
We hope to show art films. We have a beautiful wall so we can put 40 Is there an people. elevator? Yes. The elevator There's to an ADA elevator. Compliant. Yeah. It has incredible views Two bathrooms. Wow. Three bathrooms. Three bathrooms. So if somebody wants to go in there and work privately, yes. 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 For There's a day a or a week or a month, there. Right. there are little cubicles. Yes. Yep. So, so basically, you can the work at a common table you can have like this. Issues. It's very cheap, like 60 bucks a month. And, and it has high speed internet, very high speed internet. And the ceilings go, uh, the walls go all the way to the ceiling. 12 feet high. So that's seven, the open what's space. That? What's that? Wait a minute. So I the, didn't hear the, that. The Oakfellows Hall is the open space. It's open space. No, no, no. no, no, no. So I'm answering your question okay. incrementally. So you have this array of four things. Here's open space, very wait, cheap. Excuse me, I can't hear. Open space, very cheap. Yeah. Separate, oh, literally walled off. Cubicle space with doors. The cubicles don't have doors, but the cubicle space does. So you can have uh, a shared cubicle, big uh, eight by eight or ten by ten, or you can have your own cubicle. There's a nice so corner office up yeah. there. Yeah. Laura Cabin's already got it. There's. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Well, that's good. Before I mean, we even, uh, you can also have a completely private cubicle, and then you can have a private office, and they're all ranges of cost. No leases. Day passes are absolutely the thing. Um, yeah. During the summer, we hope to invite the huge Virgin tourist base in for, <coughs> we think seven or, or maybe $10 for a half a day pass and 15 for a full day pass. And they would get to work in the co-working open space. Yeah, they wouldn't get a cubicle. Yeah, that's the a main, good idea. The main yeah. Seaweed Council every you. month or two it has like 20 to 40 people and yes. we rent space for a meeting. That's exactly what we're trying to do. In, in smaller places like Ahoba and SMJ Lama, when we need to get five or ten people, or you're a banker and you want to have yeah, an yeah. investor come in, Does it's this the have perfect a name? space. Does it have a name? Yes, yeah. it's the Bug Tussle Annex. Ah. And that comes, that's an adjacent reference to the Bug Tussle Brood. Could you repeat that again? Just the Bug Tussle, B-U-G capital T-U-S-S-L-E, Bug Tussle Annex. Bug Tussle Annex. So it's the Annex, we call it the Annex. It's that's ironic it. that this is the same town that grows black soldier fly in Angus. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we've already been approached just okay. in a talking way by the first in Camden. They want to have off-site little staff, you know, uh, not pep talks, but training stuff. We think it it's, might be a useful thing for the town. And it's right, the reason I didn't do it up there is it's right downtown, mm -hmm. or right downtown. And it's, it's not on the first floor, which is too bad. Yeah, but, but it's got an elevator in it. It's, it's 12 foot ceilings. It's, it's yeah. the old, it's the old, it's the old metal ceiling. Yeah, it's beautiful. It turns out they're plastic. Right. Carpentry. It's, it's nice beautiful. It's yes, it's quite nice. So I love it. What will be the business hours that you have to find? It depends on your class of membership. And this is another really important thing. 24-7, 365 card access. So if you want, if you have something you need to talk with your business partner about yeah. at 2 on Sunday night because you have a presentation on Monday, you can do it you're again. good. Just the way we, you would be in your own office. Yeah. How do you schedule the availability of a space? You don't. You, you schedule the least Pop cubicles. Up. So the shared space is membership-based. The, uh, the day pass is a tricky one in the summer. Probably we'll set up separate yeah. designated space for laptops during right. the summer, but not during the winter. Um, so is there an annual membership fee? Yes. So the, the, when I said there are different classes, there's monthly subscriptions, or you can prepay by the year and get a little discount, 10% discount. Um, the, the, the rough range is a day pass will be seven bucks for half a day, 10 bucks for a full day. The cubicle, rent, we haven't decided yet, but around $60, they're getting 65. In a month? A month for a, sh I said cubicle, for a shared table. And that gives you very good uh, printing and scanning and all the electronic stuff you've done with that here. We have a new, yeah, yeah, we got, I, I, yeah okay. just a little bit. Anyway, th there will be a press announcement and some flyers out coming out very soon. Right. Just wanted to put it on awesome. the table. The last thing I wanted to mention is important, uh, because of the uh, select board uh, decision about A.D. Gray, the uh, Monomac Valley Community Foundation will be doing a citizen's petition, we just decided that, uh, to force the town to basically sell us the building for a dollar. Uh, if the town people speak, uh, we hope that, that we plan for that to be binding on the town. Um, just to sort of get it out there, and it, because it's an economic development issue, I thought it would be appropriate to mention it here. How many uh, signatures are needed for that? Uh, Eileen tells me 221, so we're going to go for 230, just in case there's some drops. Mm, 221. And we, we have a very short time window. I think she said it was April 4th is the deadline, so. something like that. Mm -hmm. So we only have six weeks to get this done, and the town will speak. And that's exactly what we asked for before. We're denied that opportunity. Now we're going to sort of force the issue. 
right. That's all I have. Thanks. All right. Uh, thank you. Meeting adjourned. That was quick. I thought you had more to do. That's why I was like, we need to move no, on. We're, that's right. we're done. So is it okay if we use the table for the meeting? I left you a message.